Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are again taking a problem on Fourier integral. Okay, so let us see what this problem says. This problem says express this function as a Fourier integral. Now, as I stated in the last learning video also, that depending on the problem, we will try to apply sine and cosine. So, can you give uh, a wild guess about uh, which transform we are going to apply for this Fourier sine or Fourier cosine. So just pause the video for a few seconds, try to think over it and resume the video. So I hope you might have uh, thought of this problem and uh, this Fourier integral we have to express this function as Fourier integral and I know you may be thinking of solving this problem as a Fourier cosine integral and what would be the justification for that? The justification for this uh, function uh, that we are going to express this function as a Fourier cosine integral. What is the justification? The justification is that this function is an even function. Okay, this function is an even function because when you replace x by minus x, we are going to get the same value. So the function is even. Okay, so how we can start with them? We can start with as what as f of x is an even function. Then Fourier integral implies the okay then Fourier integral is same as is same as what it is is same as Fourier Fourier cosine integral right Okay, so apply then f of x is equal to what is it? 2 by pi for your cosine integral integration 0 to lambda cos lambda x into integration 0 to infinity f of t into cos lambda t dt d lambda. Okay. Now, you, what you can do is you have the function f of x. So, so as you can write the function f of t. And if you can see here, the function is given for mod of x less than 1 and mod of x greater than 1. Okay, so we have to break this interval. Integration 0 to pi, 2, 2 by pi, 0 to it, 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity cos lambda x into integration now i am breaking this 0 to infinity as 0 to 1 f of t into cos lambda t dt plus integration 1 to infinity 1 to infinity f of t into cos lambda t dt d lambda simple now uh, just substitute the values for 0 to 1 this comes under mod of x less than 1 so 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity cos lambda x what is the integration uh, sorry first substitute the values 0 to 1 in 0 to 1 means less than 1 we have functional value f of t as 1 into cos lambda t dt plus and for this 1 to infinity means for values greater than 1 onwards we have the value to be 0 into cos lambda t dt into d lambda simple now again this will be 0 so we have to find out only the 1 this first integral so this is 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity cos lambda x into what is integration of this integration of this is uh, what is it cos sine lambda t by lambda limit 0 to 1 this is 0 and d lambda outside 
simple now you just substitute the limits upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit says put t is equal to 1 so this will give sine lambda by lambda put t is equal to 0 sine 0 is 0 so lower limit will contribute 0 upper limit will contribute some value so this is 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity cos lambda x into sine lambda upon lambda okay because we are putting t is equal to 1 and when you substitute t equal to 0 so that sine 0 is 0 so lower limit will give you 0 so this is my f of x any doubt up to this if you have any doubt up to this you can ask so very crystal clear thing are there for the time being now let us uh, let me write this f of x what is this f of x this f of x is given to you so I will write this as that is integration that is 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity cos lambda x into sin lambda upon lambda d lambda is equal to f of x and what is my f of x this so I am going to write this as 1 0 1 for mod of x less than 1 and 0 for mod of x greater than 1 okay and say this is to be my equation a okay so we have this now instead of finding the first i am going to find out the second result first okay so second result what i want in the second result sine lambda by lambda right so sine lambda by lambda can be found out by making this quantity as one and this quantity can be made as one by putting x is equal to yes zero very good so you can write put x is equal to zero in equation a put x is equal to zero in equation a we get what we get this is 2 by pi so i'm solving the second for second result first 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity this is cos 0 sine lambda upon lambda d lambda is equal to now x is equal to 0 that comes under less than 1 so for less than 1 we have the value 1 simple now take this quantity to here so you will be getting integration 0 to infinity cos 0 is 1 sin lambda upon lambda d lambda is pi by 2 okay so we got the second result that is what we want isn't it so we got the second result now you may be wondering why I, why I have taken the second result first and why not the first because to get the uh, value of this integral I need to apply the Dirichlet condition okay and for that Dirichlet condition I need to find out the uh, right hand side limit and the left hand side limit so the easy part I have already done now I'm going to find out the first one okay so what is the first one we have uh, this from equation a now for the first result I am writing at a point of discontinuity at a point of discontinuity what is the point of discontinuity here mod of x is equal to 1 because at mod of x is equal to 1 if I uh, find out the limit so left hand side left hand side limit is 1 and right hand side limit is 0 means mod of x is equal to 1 is a point of discontinuity so at a point of discontinuity that is mod of x is equal to 1 that is x is equal to plus minus 1 what you can do you can use 
f of x as f of x plus plus f of x minus by 2. Okay, this is called the Dirichlet condition. Dirichlet condition. Okay, so now you just have to find out the right hand side limit at the point of discontinuity, left hand side limit at the point of discontinuity and then, okay, so I will need this actually equation number A, that's why I'm not uh, rubbing this, okay, let me, let me solve here only, f of x plus, so what does f of x plus means, this means, limit of the function f of x as mod of x approaches to 1 from the right hand side right and uh, what is its value so let me take some different pin okay here so this is the number line this is uh, minus okay mod of x okay so this is minus one this is uh, plus one this is zero okay now if i if i approach from the right so if i approach from the mod of x tending to one plus so if i approach from the right x plus means greater than one so when it is approaching from here when it is approaching from 1 plus mod of x 1 plus so I am reaching towards I am reaching towards 0 and here you can see 0 right and so this value is 0 and what would be fx minus fx minus would be limit as mod of x tends to 1 minus from the left so if I am approaching so if I am approaching mod of x from the left, so left means from the from here, so it is going to give you for mod of x less than 1, it is 1. So this is approaching, when it is approaching from the left, you are getting the value to be 1 of f of x is equal to 1. Okay, the basics of uh, this uh, continuity. Now, I have got this, so I can rewrite this. So I'm not rubbing this, okay? So my f of x, therefore, f of x is equal to f of x plus is 0 plus f of x minus is 1 upon 2. So this value comes out to be 1 by 2, okay? So this value comes out to be uh, 1 by 2. Now see here, equation from 1 sorry from a we have this 2 by pi so this is 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity cos lambda x into sine lambda upon lambda d lambda is equal to what is it what we gonna take we have already discussed the functional value f of x is 1 by 2 by using Dirichlet condition so you can just write here simply 1 by 2 okay now f of x is equal to 1 by 2 so now take this value to here so we'll be getting integration 0 to infinity cos lambda x into sine lambda upon lambda d lambda is equal to this pi will gonna here and this 2 to 4 so 2 to the 4 so this is the value of the first solution okay this one so sine lambda upon lambda cos lambda x d lambda is pi by 4 so i hope this uh, problem is clear to you so i have tried to explain as easy as uh, i can so just go through it and for any clarification for anything you can just uh, contact me or you can write in the comment section also okay so this is uh, the result two results that we have found out right 
So the value of this we got to be it. Uh, we got it to be pi by 2 and this I got it to be pi by 4. Okay. So thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.